Today is the day we're gonna get Dragonite. I swear we're gonna get Dragonite today. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Pokemon Y Nuzlocke Randomizer. We were here, and last time, what did we do last time? Well, just made 30,000 legendaries, and that's about it. <laughs> the only thing that's left for me to do is get the Dragonite and win the Nuzlocke. That's it. So, without further ado, let's continue. What's up, everyone? Hope you guys are doing well today. So, I think we should probably just go down to the last hotel, right? Oh, what's down here? Route 16? Wait, there's a new route down there. Uh, who should we teach strength? Let's do strength on this Dragonite because this Dragonite is dumb. Wow, you're finally useful. A flying gold duck? That's sick. I'm out. Boom. And bop. Flying pussy? <laughs> My favorite. Oh. We can, we can catch this. I didn't realize that was crazy. It looked like a wall. We can get a goddamn ice cream. I do not want this. Get out of my face. Wait, why is Reggie Rock there? Oh, it picks a flying Pokemon automatically when you do fly battles. That makes sense. It's a Sea King. Come on. Let's start it out with this. It can happen. It can happen at any time. Gardevoir. That's already a good Pokemon. What the f- That's already an insane Pokemon. Let's go. I'm at a point right now where I don't care what we meet if it isn't the Dragonite. Because we have our team and we have backups already. Something very shitty has to happen for us to actually need more Pokemon. There's not been a sighting of Dragonite yet. That's why I'm getting a bit nervous. It's going to challenge all these people. Alright, you're dead. Other guy coming or what? Wait, wasn't there another? Oh, there. Yo, it's back here. Sky Trainer, yes, let's go. Flower Guy, die. I need to be a little bit careful. We're like half health. I don't know why I'm still go like going. One misstep and I might just lose my Gengar. I don't even know where I am, but that's a Groudon. What's up? All right, let's go. Hold. What, where did you get hold first try? There's a Deoxys on the hold. All right. Sure, I'm out. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. I wanted that. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. That is like the one Pokemon like I really want. That's a Shaman. A little Archim, adorable. A Gumi. A Gumi would have been good. Like any little dragon is great. It's just little baby guys. Look, they're just little guys. What? Why? Blah, blah, blah. I okay. Um. <laughs> Last time was legendary round. This time it's just little baby Pokemon area. What's this house? Can I heal here? Fish is a super rod? Damn right it is. Psygarde. Oh, right, let's try some fishing here with a super rod. Good rod. Cause it's funny. Okay, little spider guy. Old Rod has a little fish. And now Super Rod's gonna have fucking Super Pokemon. Just slow. <laughs> that was too slow. Why do I even speed up on fit? Got it. It's a fuck. But I don't have Surf on. I just forgot. Let's do Surf Fatty. Why does Cut exist? I just bring some scissors. I hate that Polyrag has a mouth on there. It's always looked like a nose to me in Gen 1, 2, 3. All right, finally. Let's go in the hotel and fight some guys. Huh. Wrong game. It's doing solar beam. Uh, maybe change again? <laughs> Moltres, get out here. Yo, shoot me with all you got. Whoa. I actually really like that solar beam in this game. I think I like uh, Yveltal more than I do Cernius. I like them both, but just like design wise, I just love Yveltals. It's so fucking sick. Oh, we can meet something here. What? Oh, a fungus. That's a. Maybe I should have called that. Uh, that's whatever. But now we meet something all the time. We didn't meet anything for like 30 minutes. Not 30 minutes. And again, it's just little baby guys. What? Why though? We may have all every round just to be sure. Hey, a Celebi. Oh, there's a Ho down here. Hell yeah. There's a Fion there. Kill that. Why, why do I have this guy up here? I don't understand. <laughs> Beat him. Oh my. Crit him. That's the most damage at this Red Rock has ever done in his life. There's someone in the trash canister. An escape rope. What? That? What? Hey, let's fight. Dude, kid, what do you think you're wearing? You ain't got no sense of style. You're getting out of... You're not cool at all. Just look at you. You've got to take care of yourself. I have never been judged this hard. Just leave me alone. I don't think it's healthy for a little kid to be told he looks ass. Um... Oh, hey. Well, we have met the god himself. Let's go. Confused Ray's ass. Who to put in thumbnail? Arceus or Cernius? You're confused. Hit yourself. <laughs> Madden Meat and Garden. He hits himself in the head. You're out of here, Arceus. Stupid. See, it's always the guys with one Pokemon that has a legendary. Then the Mill Town. How's your journey going? You see, when our Shonka visited many different regions as well, I met many kinds of Pokemon and noticed how each place has its own distinct flavors. So I really came to enjoy trying new foods as I traveled. Because of my adventures, I'm an expert of the cafes of Carlos. Um, Professor? Come on, Dexio, I'm going somewhere with this. You remember the Pokemon that Sandra mentioned at that cafe? Yes. 
Wonderful. Carlos the legendary Pokemon is called Eveltal. According to Matilia I've read, those who saw it were so overwhelmed by its power, they were only able to say this Pokemon resembled the letter Y. Apparently, this Pokemon will absorb energy. Its lifespan is said to be 1,000 years when it reaches the end of its life. It steals all of the spirits around it. The fuck, that's sick. Where do you think a Pokemon that amazing could be now? Well, it was back on, like, Route, but... Six or some shit. And Carlos is legendary Pokemon loses all its vitality. He goes to sleep in a secret place. I don't have a clue where it could be. The writings that mention it is also around a thousand years old, so that much help. It'd be absolutely astounding if you found it, my ass. Maybe I'll look into the legend a little bit. If I find something, I'll let you know. Ha ha ha. Oh, it would be a thrill if you found it indeed, but your journey is yours and your Pokemon's alone. I want you to enjoy yourself and do whatever you'd like. He's one of the best professors, honestly. I love him. Is the professor gone already? I was hoping to have him take a look at the Pokedex. Heading to the Frost Cavern. I mean, I'm down to go there. Let's really check around, though, because they always give items. Oh, move to lead us there? Oh, maybe name radars here. Shell Bell, yay. Hey, look at that shot. That's nice. This is great. I love the music. I said in every single Pokemon city of all time ever. Route 17, Memo Swine Road. Wait, we can ride on here? That's just it. Unfortunately, the Memo Swine is hanging out in front of the Frost Cavern and it won't budge. I see. So let's go to the Frost Cavern. Ooh, wait. Oh my god. I love Bossa Nova. I like jazz. It's the best. Just the most chill shit. <laughs> so stupid. Just a single Pokemon trainer and it's a Garatina. Of course. Alright, let's see what's in this ice lake. This is it. It's an ice Pokemon. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, it's a Heat Rain now. That makes sense. And it's a pump. Wait, I could have caught that ice. Oh yeah, wait. That's just another ice though. So I could have had two ice creams today. That's great. Let's just do all the rods. Because every single time we get to there, we need to try and see if we can find that Dragonite. It can be hiding anywhere in the world. Or nowhere at all. Alright, old rod we got. Alright. Genesect is really fucking badass. Hey, that's the Mammoth Swine. My name's Trevor. I'm doing this. Who are you? Yes, I do that. My ass. Conversation. Ooh. Cool. Let's go in. Alright, we can catch this. Oh, no. Yes, thank you. I want to run around like a normal human being. We can catch this. Let's go. I do not want that. Now that we know it's a type evolution. What the? Again? Like, why? You leave me alone, legendary trainer, guys. I actually like the ice caves in games more, a lot more than, uh, you know, just normal caves. Like, normal caves get boring in Pokemon, in my opinion. Especially Victory Road. So when they mix it up just a little bit, it's always refreshing. It's always so boring just being like, oh, I need to go through a cave. Or I need to push a rock down here to do that. Even though it's technically the same, it's just adding a different kind of texture and all that stuff or whatever. It feels so different if it's just not a cave. Oh man, Gen 6 music at 700% speed hidden. Different though. <laughs> what is like the chance we have to meet a Dragonite or a Raikou? This guy's a Landorus and a Raikou. Okay, you're pretty cool. I'll admit it. There is a Lugia in the water. Actually really fits the color scheme and everything. Looks sick here. And now good rod. What have we got in the good rod? Nothing good. All right, old rod. Cool. And then Super Rod. Hey, it's a Crobat. Oh, sick. Why is Crobat so huge in this? It's insane. And also an Excadrill. What? It's just my team in black two. Or was it black one? There's also an Entei. Yo, looking fresh. Leave me alone. Golem? Hunch Crow? I, I actually really like Hunch Crow. It's really grown on me over the past, like, long time. What we got here? A horde full of fox. It's just another Victini leading a horde. Dark Trio? I like Dark Trio. Maybe we can heal here, actually. Yes, of course. Have a potion. <gasps> Almost went down. Oh, hey, a legendary. Cool. Fine. Literally 80% of all trainers with one Pokemon is at a legendary now. If not every single one of them in this episode. What an Obama snow. It's a fine specimen. It's absolutely brimming with energy. The more we agitate it, the stronger its snow warning ability becomes, making the snow. Ah, okay. Snow. Prick. Hey, you guys stop that now. Hey. Hey, you Pokeball thieves. What are you doing here? What does it look like? We're catching Pokemon. Why else would we be here grabbed all those Pokeballs? It's also we could catch a powerful Pokemon like this Obama Snow. It's full of potent energy. The wise team flare mass and Pokemon energy and money. To put another, your wise team flare is trying to take everything for itself. Allow me to spell it out for you. It's so team flare and only team flare can survive. After all, why should we care about saving people who aren't on our side? Anyway, I don't mind a healthy curiosity, but I'm afraid I just don't have any more time for you. Oh, yes. Did they say only team flare will survive? These people have few screws loose. The worst thing would be if team flare had a Dragonite though. Then I'd be pissed off. Fair tick. Uh, yeah. Easy fight. You suck. 
All right, should I fight you too? Or what? Yes, let's go. Min Xiao. What, just one Pokemon? I saved you, right? Can I fight this? Oh, it says, looks like you want to give you something. My ass obtained a bomb at sight. Oh, cool. Well, that's very nice. You dare kiss me? No one kisses me. Well, that should be that done. And then the memo swine should be fine, right? Yeah, they're gone. All right. All right, it's back. Now we can, we can catch this. Let's get our first Pokemans in the little snow area. It's a bee. It's a swampert. That was an Eevee here. God damn it. Dude, imagine the day a dragon Eevee will exist. What would that be called? I don't care. I just want it to be cool looking. What is Rudolph? What the fuck? Sick. Get out of here. Flying monkey. Die. I love how the sky battles are like, they feel like optional fights. Well, they are optional fights. I'm pretty sure they ask like, do you want to fight? And they're also like in really weird locations sometimes. It's cool. All right. We've arrived to wherever this is. We got a hollow chip. I mean, clip. Hey, my ass. Uh, this time I challenge you to a bell in front of this. Okay. Wait, aren't we about to go to the seventh gym? That was fast. I feel like we just had two gym badges the other day. Probably because we did. Yo, what's up? I came in place of Dexio to tell you something. There's a person hiding in any star city. I don't hide. And who knows about the legendary Pokemon? Oh, my God. I bought you some gifts. Hey. Repeat balls. Thank you. That is about the worst thing I've ever got. I'll even listen to this track real quick. Ooh. Wait, I've heard this before. But where? You want to know the memory of your Pokemon? What? Uh, let's know the memory of Reggie Rock here. Dragonite went fishing with my ass, but the hooked Pokemon got away. Dragonite did not go fishing with my ass. What, Goku? Uh, what about... What about Fatty? Fatty surfed across the water, carrying my ass on his back. So stupid. My Fatty was surprised and ran away with my ass. What was this? Crystal Myth. It is, this is probably my favorite city so far in the game. It's fucking awesome. Let me show how much strong I am. All right, let's go. Put over. Serena, you got that. Wow. That's so cool. Mr. Mime. Yeah, yeah. Shadow Ball. Oh, yeah. I got Thunderbolt. Bop. And a Cloyster. And I got Thunderbolt again. Bop. Gengar is so gross. And I love it. Let's just head into the gym. I mean, I also like how this game actually hasn't done the thing where, oh, the gym leader isn't here. Eight times in a row. Oh, this is a maze. But if you find a thing, you got this. Wait, how do I... What the fuck just happened? By maze, you meant that it's a different dimension you go into. And just, you walk around and everyone is okay with this. Uh, do that. Oh, it's green. Whoop, pop, blue. Yes, I know what is going on. She actually does look like a space empress. That's awesome. A ritual to decide your fate and future. The battle begins. Olympia. That's a fitting name. It's awesome. Let's see what we got. King, you suck. He's loving it out here in space though. Look at him. All right, we got a ditto. Well, and we got a Bastiodon. Interesting team there, buddy. There we go. Psychic badge. We're gonna get a Psychic too. It's Calm Mind. Actually, just as good. Who's calling? Oh, here we go. Is he gonna finally say it? They come to the Hollow Cather to make an important announcement. Listen well. Team Flare will revive the ultimate weapon, eliminate everyone who isn't in our group, and return the world to a beautiful natural state. Unproductive fools are consuming our future. If nothing changes, the world will become ugly and conflicts will raise the land from end to end. I repeat, we'll use the ultimate weapon and wipe the slate clean. I'm sorry those who are not members of Team Flare, but this is our dirt to you. That's what I meant as well in the beginning, like, he literally owns the hollow cast or whatever. He could be spying on everyone. What was Lysandra saying there? Wiping the slate clean? Eliminating everyone but Team Flare? Yes, let's look for the Team Flare's headquarters. Perhaps he's where we first met him in Lumio City. Probably. Also, you guys are just chilling while you're like listening in on the conversation. Wait, how far are we in the game actually? We still need that town, that town, and that Pokemon League. And then there's a town down here. Sea Spirit's Den, and of course a lot of legendaries. And I don't know how much post game there's in this, but I'll of course do all the story stuff after Elite Four as well if there is any. So they are hiding in the thing here, but where are they? Am I supposed to do something? What? That? She so just to talk to a wall? Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna fight him already? What? Hey, cute Pokemon. I thought you are like, gonna go through, like, 30 floors of your evil henchmen, and then we'd fight you. Nope, you're standing at the front door. That's fucking... That's badass. I like it. You gone. Fuck out of here. I really like this battle OST. Actually, really nice. And a Terrakion. Cool. Wow. <laughs> uh, your convictions and those of your Pokemon please me. You were here to stop me, but I asked you to wait. 
I tried to save people in the world with the profit from this lab, but my efforts has no effect. The world just has too vast and too full of fools that I couldn't save through my hard work alone. That's why I decided the only way to save the world was to take it all by myself. Try to stop the ultimate weapon if you must, but to do so, you'll have to explore our lab and have Pokemon battles with all you meet. Oh, so now we're gonna do that. Oh, and for the elevator key, one of the team flare scientists you've met on your journey has it, saving everything. The world is suffering because of this absurd dream. Yes, so maybe don't. Let's just kill everyone. Okay. Yes. You guys not have waited a little bit? Because it's hard to choose a thumbnail when I meet so many fucking cool guys. You look really good in this game, by the way. Hey, okay, green thing makes you fly. Yo, get out of the way. Hit my chain. Alright, so wait. Yellow? Oh, yellow is back. This is tall. Oh. But they're here. We're looking for a really tall guy, and I mean tall. If you stretch out a survivor and stood it up, you'd be that tall. We received some intelligence that Team Flare is also trying to find him for some reason. His relationship to Team Flare is still a mystery, but... Oh, by the way, I've got something for you. Take these with you, my ass. Revives. Wow. Thank you so much, guys. That's gonna be so useful. Definitely not gonna go sell them in a second. Taunt. What? Well, thank you so much. Revive. Can I sleep in a bed, please? Yes. I can sleep in any bed I want. Oh my god, this is amazing. Uh, what's in here? Oh, hey, guys. It's the two other ones. Let's fight. Age of Slash. I like Age of Slash. Ow, that hurt. Fuck you, man. Whoa. Ha ha ha. He hit himself in the head again. I have 10 health. Why do I have 10 health? I wanted the thumbnail. Now I got 10 health. All right, get that spin out of it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I need to not do that. Especially not with Gengar. It's the stones on Route 10 that will steal the energy first. Oh, good. <laughs> Imagine they're just fucking batshit crazy and it's just normal geologists studying stones. That's my cannon now. Hyper Potion, yay. I don't know why, but fight me. I have just almost got myself killed again. Why? Do a quick rest and then let's head for the elevator. Oh, there he is. All right. Hello, man. Why are you so tall? I'm a freaky. I'm gonna hear a story. A terribly long time ago, there was a man and a Pokemon. He loved that Pokemon very much. Hey, it's that one. Oh, that's a cool fucking painting. What a war begun. The man's beloved Pokemon took part in the war. Holy shit, that looks sick. Damn. Several years passed. He was given a tiny box. The man wanted to bring the Pokemon back, no matter what it took. The man built a machine to give it life. He brought his beloved Pokemon back. The man had suffered too much. His rage still had not subsided. He could not forgive the world that had hurt the Pokemon he loved. He turned the machine into the ultimate weapon. I fucking love this, man. It's so fun sick. Ooh. Jesus Christ. All right, well. The man became a bringer of destruction that ended the war. Yeah, while killing thousands. The Pokemon was given life, must have known. Let the lives of many Pokemon were taken to restore its life. This is pretty fucking dark for Pokemon. Like, plot-wise. I know Pokemon's always been fucked up, but... <laughs> the resurrected Pokemon left them in. the key back. It should not be used. Everything will vanish again. Do you want to know unending pain like I have? That is as. Okay, his name is clearly like from beginning to end like Aetis said. <laughs> but he's also just called as. He has the same name as a king that lived 3,000 years ago and for some unknown reason he had the key to the ultimate weapon hung around his neck. It's finally time. Follow me to my chambers. He's got eternal life. So is he just living in guilt? Forever or until it's gone. So the Pokeballs we received and the Pokemon we've gathered are where they need to be. Add it all up and it means operation are complete. The only thing left to do is put the plan in motion. I'm counting on you, clown ass guy. One push of a button and we activate the ultimate weapon from this room. I believe being a chosen one means you have the potential to change the future. Whether we activate the ultimate weapon or leave it safely on the ground will rest upon you if you actually have the potential or not. Ha oh, ha ha, you're the one I've heard so much about. I've been waiting for you. I need to do a little research on you. Come on, let's begin. Let's fight Android 19. <laughs> you're dead and a Sylveon. Wow, cute. Fuck you. Wonderful, amazing, you have tremendous skills and bravery. It's happened 3,000 years ago. If you can get that incredible power, we can freak Carlos and do that behind me. You'll find a red button and a blue button. One of them will ask you to activate the thing. One, come on, push one now. I like this color more. <laughs> push the red button. Damn right. 
You pushed it. Oh, you pushed the little red button. Too bad for you. Pushing that button has enabled us to use the thing. Don't feel down, though. I'll write for it even if you've guessed correctly. That's what I'm saying. Oh, shit. Cutscene time. I'm gonna get a drink. Drink some water, guys. Please. <laughs> Oh, morning wood. God, water's good. Jesus Christ. It's... It's a crystal. Whoa. Nice. Did you see? The ultimate weapon is reborn. The poisonous flower has bloomed. All shall perish except for Team Flair. Look at Geosinch. It's bloomed in Geosinch's village. Our town. The boss has dream of creating a beautiful world become true. Add it all up and it equals a victory for our science. Good for you guys. All right, let's get to Geosinch, I guess. This phase in most Pokemon games is always my favorite. Here it is. What do we do about it? It's fucking huge. Should I come prepared? I mean, I've always come prepared. Look at you. You can't do a thing. You got a heat more? What are you, a fire trainer? Dumbass. Help you? Alright, alright. I'll let you have that one. That's cool. I do have Thunderbolt though, and you're down. And you got a dead. Nah, nah, nah. My ass, I'm coming with you. When I was in the Sandra's lab, the mass heroes told me what's going on. They also told me that Team Flare plans to do with the original. But the world isn't corrupt. <laughs> okay, it's a Team Flare secret headquarters. Let's go in. Oh. Hey guys, you're just chilling? Everyone in the world must be happy before any one person can be happy. But well, the world is too big if- What the hell is this mindset? The ultimate weapons flower has finally bloomed above the soil. Don't you find its beauty captivating? As we speak, it draws its energy from the legendary Pokemon. So Eveltal is in there? We're not going to let you have the ultimate weapon. Even though the resources, space, and energy on this planet are limited, the number of people and Pokemon has increased to an unsustainable amount. Whether it's money or energy, the ones who steal are the ones who win in this world. But that doesn't give you the right to destroy everyone but the ones Team Flare chooses. So tell me, the Mega Ring, did you share it? That's different. We competed for it, but when there's only one of something, it can't be shared. When something can't be shared, it'll be fought for. And when something is fought for, some must survive without it. The only way to create a world where people live in beauty, a world without conflict or theft, is to reduce the number of living things. What about Pokemon? Oh. Tears? Well, why? Pokemon shall no longer exist. Pokemon are wonderful beings. Humans have worked with Pokemon and we have helped each other flourish. But precisely because of that, they'll inevitably become tools for war and theft. Enough of this. You want to stop the ultimate weapon? I refuse to do so. So I'll keep you guys safe for just a moment. Alright, let's go again, Lysandra. I actually really like this guy's, like, ideology and everything. And no, of course, liking doesn't mean I agree with shit. I just like it because it's interesting. I don't understand how people can even get that fucked up. Like, people think that if you like a character that's evil, it's like, oh my god, you must uh, fucking have the same views as him. Just fuck off. <laughs> it's fiction. And a lot of motives in anime, films, games, all that, obviously based off of some sort of logic. Most of the time. Time. So like you can see what he's saying, but it's like way too extreme. I love that shit. You also why everyone has a spinder as the last Pokemon. What why? It's like the worst Pokemon of all time. You're as strong as ever, but it's too late. There's no hope for you now. Go down to the lowest floor and see for yourself. It's not over yet. My ass, let's look for the legendary Pokemon. Trains are protected by Pokemon, but they protect Pokemon too, right? Look, you can see the entrance to the lower floors over there. Let's hurry. I'm hurrying. Run. Hey, bald guy. We're really gonna fight you guys right now. You have a Cernius. So why do you need a Veltal as well? Also, when does Serena get a damn Uxie? See you later, guys. Run. Oh, another one? Sure. Arcanine. You guys always have just one Pokemon I want. I know, I'm, I'm just gonna slow you down. But... But friends should stick together. That's right. I'm the one who should be apologizing. You came all the way out here and I wasn't very considerate of your feelings. You're right. Friends should stick together. My ass, we should go all together, okay? Of course. I need you to agree. Okay, Shona, my ass and I will go ahead. Stay close to us, okay? Okay, thank you. Alright, man. You have every legendary Pokemon in the game. Can you just relax? Fucking hell, Koga almost just fucked us up as well. Alright, we made it to this. It's an electronic fuck. What should we do? This might help. I'll knock on the door. It's advice that helps you when you use- Ah, there we go. That's why it was mentioned. Alright. Ta-da, the lock is opened. Oh, and the device actually broke. Amazing, Shona. You and the most of us are full surprises. So, we're finally here. Letting your boys inside. Whoa. Holy fuck, this looks good. The lighting, the colors. Great. And there he is, a Viltal is up there. We're in the deepest part of the headquarters. It's somehow hard to breathe in here. It doesn't look like it's alive, but... What? Who are you? Who are you and where? That's none of your business. What? Getting chased around? Ah, uh, let's fight, everyone. I do need some PP, though, so... I... What? A Diancy? Okay, I should actually change here. This is dangerous. Ow. That was a crit. Okay, we're good. Bullet punch. Bop. <laughs> 
punch the shit out of it. I didn't buy healing again, though, so we still don't have any healing other than this habit potion we found. You, yeah, yeah, swoop it, lightning it, bop, hunt tail, yes, die. No way, this puts the no in no way. Rrr. Oh shit, what's going on? Is it gonna awaken? Oh shit. Ooh. It's fucking coming. There he is. Fuck, he looks so good. I love him. Yo! Don't hurt me, please. Oh, what a fucking cool shot. Wish it was a little bit more wide, but... Sick. So we're gonna fight it now? Oh, we are. It's a Mew. I don't know if it's Mew, what the fuck? Yeah? Okay, wait. No, we're gonna let this drop. That's fucking sick. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> I've never heard this so fucking good! Oh my god! Best spell team in this game so far. Holy shit! Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh, look! Okay, yeah, no, nah, this is the best one in the game, 100%. A shame it's Mew. I think it, it does kind of show that it's probably legendary to legendary randomized, but I'm not sure, honestly. Let's just kill it. We don't need it. Wait, what the fuck this shot? Do I have to catch it? I might have to catch it, actually. Shit. Randomize again. Oh, it randomized again! Oh, no, it's because the first time is programmed differently than when you encounter like that i see okay so it's like tinny now i it seems like i have to catch it well i have 11 great balls so if we could just get that'd be sick nope yeah i don't know what i'm about to do okay it's red health i don't really have anything i, I have a master ball but i don't want to use it just spam these even though this is like our first real legendary thing so it's actually gonna be hard for once which kind of sucks because i didn't buy any ultra balls just like didn't want to catch anything. We got two there though. Just don't kill me real quick, please. Right. Um. I want more. Oh, easy. We got it. There we go. Big we don't want. We don't want to call anything. What a relief. Now they can't use the ultimate weapon. You're amazing, my ass. I let your Pokemon wanted to be your friends like that. It's been unbelievable. What a startling development. I never would have thought you were the really the chosen one. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the mighty of Eltal. I expected more from a Pokemon called a legend. You desire help from people? You need help from a human? Well, what's going on with that outfit? Is that really you, Lysandra? Or whatever? I has already beat you. What are you doing here? For me, victory is using the ultimate weapon. In order to do that, I need to reclaim the legendary Pokemon's power and send it to the Pokemon instead. So I'm gonna beat the shit out of you in person. This time I won't lose. I shall use the Mega Ring and Mega Stone that you use research during your travels. Oh. Well, let's see what randomized mega you have. At least it actually healed us. That's very nice. You got a Porygon Zed. Scary Pokemon. Oh, yeah, wait, it's normal. And you got a Keldeo. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Die. And a Sky. All right. Actually, just, just the Mega Ball. I just want to see it. Oh, yeah. Sky's was fucking cool. This arena is also sick. Just on fire. <laughs> Um, you know what I think? Even if there's only a little bit of something, it's still best to share it. Even you managed to use Mega Evolution. That's because Gyarados shared its power with you, didn't it? And not just Gyarados, but your other Pokemon too. The Legendary Pokemon is gone, so you can't use the ultimate weapon anymore, right? You don't have to worry about the future all by yourself. I think everyone should work together to make a better, beautiful world. If that were possible, all wars would have ended long ago. I can only see one future. One where selfish, foolish humans think about nothing other than themselves and steal more and more from one another. It's a tragic future. The original purpose of this device was to bring a Pokemon back to life, but the ancient king transformed into the ultimate weapon. Hmm. When the legendary Pokemon awakened, it took back much of its energy, its power, that had been sent to the ultimate weapon. There's not much power left, but there is enough to use it once. My ass, yes, Psychomorph's pupils. The ultimate weapon is a flower that bloomed to no avail, just like me. But this ends here. I'll show you what its remaining power can do. My oh yeah, Sean, let's get out of here. Oh, good.
This fuck is so sick. I love this. Whoa. Um. Well, what the, <laughs> the house has just fell over. I really respect the courage and kindness of all you showed. Thank you, we, we're all fine. Are you guys all okay, Chiano? Yep, as you can see, we're doing great. Thanks for asking. We work together to save the Pokemon connected to the stones in Route 10. I'm mostly left battling with Team Flare. To Cena and Dexio, though. Who are these Cena and Dexio you speak of? We're the masked heroes. Don't worry about it, Tiano. We were all doing the best we could to stop Team Flare's plan, so, and we have a little bit of news for you all. We managed to destroy the machine in Lysandra's lab for spying on people's... I literally called that from the very first episode, or was the second one. So you won't have to deal with Team Flare anymore? Now I can go back to fill up my Pokedex? So it's finally over, right? We can go back to our adventure, right? Let's start by going to Anastar City, and start over from where we left off. Alright, thank you, my ass. I have so much respect for you as my friend. It's because I respect you that I want you to beat you in a rival thing, I really mean it. <laughs> I have so much respect for you that I want to beat the shit out of you, just this once. Oh, here he is. I got exploded. A long, long time ago, a man made an ultimate weapon. Using it required the life force of many Pokemon. The Pokemon granted eternal life learned this. A resurrected eternal Pokemon left the man's side. The man was surprised and sad. He had revived it so they could be together. Day after day passed, but they were never to meet. Eventually, he became a mere shell of a man. A man condemned to wander forever by the light of the weapon, and a Pokemon that also wanders eternally. Where is it now? What do I have to do to meet it? Hmm. So that guy's obviously the king, or the king from many, many years ago, who made the weapon and all that. But why is he so damn tall? <laughs> it's fucking freaky. Man, we are running out of routes to find a Dragonite. I'm getting nervous. Route 18, here we go. Yo, Roads of Rock, what, you singing it? Oh yeah, we can meet a Pokemon here. Um, maybe we should try to get to another grass? Wait, yeah, let's go down here. What's going on? I have a potion. Give me something great. Oh, a Gabite. We are going to get that, of course, because this could also be a Dragonite. Okay, I'll take this. Oh, let's not kill it here, though. I have no balls. I forgot. Wait, I don't want to have to catch it in a Master Ball. What is... Fuck's sake. Okay, we got a Luxury Ball. That's sick. What else would have gotten? A Gabite. Ah, oh, good. There's a Weavile here. Oh, shit. I would have loved that in the beginning, but we're this late in, so we don't really need it. There's a train thing here you can go into. What? Terminus cave. Let's get a Pokemon real quick. Jesus Christ, that's <laughs> gold bed. Well, that's fitting. The problem with Gabbard is though that it's also ground, so it could just be a stupid ground guy. All right, well, let's buy some Ultra Balls here so we have them. We can sell so much stuff and probably get like 700k at least. All right, get that and then a shit ton of these as well. Full heals, sure. And some extra pills. Yes, all right, we good. I want to apologize, not to thank you. No worries, man. Enough of that. I want to take your Pokemon and do all that. Oh, shit. We're going to fight him? Yeah, give me that free XP, silly. Yeah. Ledian. Yeah. Wow, you're so good. Zapdos trainer. Get out. I'm just trying to level my Gabite. You have a Zapdos and a Jolteon? Fucking sick team, man. All right, two more levels for Gabite. And Elakazam, though. That's sick. Oh, hold. Hold, hold, hold. Oh, not that good. Akron looks cool, though. There was also a Kingdra here. What the fuck, man? Sick Pokemon? I have to end the video, but I just really want to quickly evolve this. My ass. Yo, what's up? Who's this? Hey, you know what's about to happen? Of course, this battle. Let's see what you've got this time, Shona. Semi Seer. Hey, that's pretty good. A Giratina. Mm, okay. It did level my Gabite to 48. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is it. The final evolution. Could it be? Could it be? Just don't be like a stupid ground type. Just give me, give it to me. Rayquaza or Dragonite? Come on. Ah, I don't want a good <laughs> What, we're just gonna fight Chiano? What the fuck? Sure. Are we gonna have a triple fight? Uh, yeah, he does, but we heal first. Cool, no tank. And finally, you have a Steelix. Cool team too. Alright, am I allowed to go now, guys? Waterfall. Oh shit, we just got that right now. There's a snowball city. What that was so fast? What? 21 routes. We skipped one, I think, but wait. I just wanna see what we can get. A manic trick? Fungus? Lava. Good rod, good rod, good rod. Let's go. Oh, it's a Septos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fight me, everyone. There's a Pelk here. I don't really care. Uh, um, he just got 
fucking crit one shot by a Pelkia. Let's go. I think that's a great way to end this episode right here. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please leave a like on this video. It doesn't matter so much. This is a sign, dude. Next episode, we're going to replace this fake Dragonite with a real Dragonite. I swear, it's the third time's the charm. It's lining up too perfectly. It has to be. No, but thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Leave a funny comment. I love reading them. Leave a like, as I said. Check out my Twitter and my second channel. Of course, subscribe if you're new around here. And as always, my name is Smith. And thanks for watching. Thank you.